Right. Ye ma hwefo nyina akwa ba tronko e de bibiara e ba akroma TV. Ye jiri se mu nyina mo ho ye. Ene so so ensema ho do a etwego o manga ne mo de aye sa ka no ne abesa ne mo e di amamo. Me den ene efia adepa e be sere mo se mo nkoso a na mo share stories no e ma ye. Mo mra comment session na mo fo ma dwen chere so so ingu ho no na mo nka ye se mo be subscribe. Se ne ensema ne tie bia no ye de tu dwa na mo so so mo nsa etumi aka mo de. Ye ensa ibre e be bo ra ye ensem no emu. Me na mo ka say no eh MPP ma eku ne mu ehuru ja na pay pa 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 na ina ene say vice president Dr. Mahmoud Baumia wa bono homo den eti mi afali for nominations a wire submissions e ne dey or the forms no akotu dwa amache so man for hu no say ampeni ampa flag bra position na obe pre no nyame aya do ma bra e puma kwa minna no aba be ye be na o man for e tre she bodwa na say e wo e ye office form no busu for e chain MPP e ye national rally pa ana e koso ni pa e bun kan fa so ni nyina wo monwa mo to a ene e BMW Baumia must win and the DMB train or yana a yet and say. Menamoka say no year, Dr. Mud Baumia Bomodin, it's me a fro edna sim PSO. Edna no one send be a Bomodian to Jah. No one cast papa or say or dos from Quan, MP for a train or say a gin and sim a ton of coma so. Why now so so all these years support a woman dear man and any else so pine so the Nasir strong con air co edia more more. On any second, and a wife who didn't cheer my mare, Samira Baumia, and a chess of one more food dinner, seem piano so. Now, ye were at my mood by me, I say. So, any phone couldn't be in there, one man, a co one, sir, or my and Dawson, or so, or no, any flag brand, and they so maybe you cry, a chill as and beer in the honum. Nanny speech never seen a four, or do most of copper, they be a whole door, and can't can who treat you more, sir, quite be a son, or did soon pay ye say MPP, dear. Wanum edin kunim ewe na ewe sana fo video esu no bebi de waa se yi. Se ni esi ipche gu ni da ibo mo bo jene so ni ya hon fo mo ma de di a chen no. Che se e nya sam ke tuwa e nya sam ke tuwa. Ni spe chino an so honu ma wade hudu webre kan ka hon ewe sana fo eja. Me ma me ka sanya tin 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 no. Yabe tu ya bo ni a de bre. Ni ya ko fe video esu no bi ni e ti en sama. Ye ura doktor ma mod ba o miya edi tu ja. BMW it is possible. Ana mo ntua o mo tu na pe no e hon tre mo ni na ya waa se yi. Se bo sana fo. Yen je brandi yen kwe ensi ni wimra. Mo anka ensi se mbe che che ma jyo. Koma yin session na mo be share stories no. Ama fo fronso so ensa eti mi akka omo diye. Yen je brandi yen kwe ensi ni wimra. E ba anko mo na anka no. Elbe tso mo yin amo so. This is mercy. This is overwhelming. This is grassroots support. Thank you all for the overwhelming love and support you have me today. I am very humble by this my dear and beautiful wife Samira. Hey! Hey! And all my family, my friends, and my team, and all of you for the support you have given me all of these years. God bless you all. Dear friends, I have just filed my nomination to contest as flag bearer of the new patriotic party for the 2024. I believe this is the first step to our victory in 2024 by the grace of God. This is a very important day in my life. From Sakasaka Primary School in Tamale. 
to Tamale Secondary School, to Oxford University, to the Bank of Ghana as Deputy Governor, and then to become Vice President of the Republic of Ghana. It has been an amazing journey. And I thank God for how far he has brought me. Dear friends, it has not been an easy journey. It has taken a lot of hard work, discipline, and patience to get here. I have walked to school growing up in Moshizongo in Tamale. I have been a by-day worker on farms during holidays in secondary school. I have been a warehouse boy even after finishing university. I have been a minicab driver. I was only able to pay fees for one term during my studies at Oxford University. And I had to survive for the rest of my studies without paying fees thanks to my college. I only settled my fees in arrears after I started work following my completion of my PhD in Canada. I have also been, been a cleaner of dormitories in my university days in Canada. So, I can say that I have not had it easy at all. But I have always believed that with hard work, honesty, discipline, and faith in God Almighty, one can fulfill one's potential. My life experience tells me never to take anything for granted and always to have respect for people no matter their stature in life, no matter how big or small they are. The cleaner or the driver you meet today could be the vice president or the president tomorrow. I care about the poor. I care about the vulnerable and excluded. I care about the lepers. I care about the sick. I care about sickle cell sufferers. I care about cancer patients. I care about the disabled. I care about the kayaye. I care about the street children. And I care about the unemployed amongst others. This is the true essence of life to address the problems of the weakest amongst us and to help lift them themselves up. I am not afraid of hard work. In fact, I enjoy hard work. My experience in life tells me that honesty and hard work pays. I worked hard for His Excellency President J.A. Kufuor as Deputy Governor of the Bank of Ghana and have worked hard as Vice President in assisting the President, His Excellency Nana Adodankwa Akufuadu to achieve his vision. Together, we started the process of transforming Ghana into a country ready for the fourth industrial revolution. I brought honesty, hard work, dedication, and discipline to my role as vice president. Notwithstanding the economic challenges of our time, our government has constructed more infrastructure than any other government in the fourth republic and many transformational policies have been introduced for the first time 
in our history, including the issuance, mass issuance of the Ghana card, the digital address system, mobile money interoperability, delivery of medicines by drones, one district, one factory, planting for food and jobs, Zongo Development Fund, Agenda 111, free TVET, free SHS, to mention just a few. We have also created over two million jobs in six years, more than any other government in the Fourth Republic. My dear friends, having implemented these transformational policy initiatives, it is very important that we don't go backwards as a country. We cannot put this country back in the hands of people who don't have an understanding of and a belief in this vision. That is why it is important for us to break the AIDS. There is still so much more to do. My dear friends, I have my own vision for Ghana. I believe that it is time to move Ghana to the next level by building on the foundations we have put in place so far. Together with you, I want to see a Ghana where we leverage technology, data, and systems for inclusive economic growth. I want to make Ghana the digital hub of Africa I want us to bridge the digital divide and apply digital technology and artificial intelligence for the transformation of healthcare, education, and public service delivery, amongst others. Together with you, I want to see a Ghana with an education system tilted towards STEM, robotics, artificial intelligence, digital and vocational skills to cope with the demands of the fourth industrial revolution. Together with you, I want to see a Ghana where we cater for the poor, the vulnerable, the excluded, and the sick. Together with you, I want to see a Ghana where we attain food security in the shortest possible time through the application of science and data and irrigation to commercial, to commercial farming. We also want to complete the ongoing digitalization of all farms across the 16 regions, the data on all farms. Together with you, I want to see a gap where we maximize the benefits from our natural resources like gold, lithium, and other minerals through policies like value addition, setting up a LBMEA certified gold refinery, enhancing the gold for oil policy, and dedication of specific gold concessions to the Bank of Ghana to enhance their accumulation of gold reserves. Together with you, I want to see an industrialized nation. I want to entrench and enhance the current strategy of industrialization that we have embarked on and also introduce new technology like digital manufacturing for the manufacturing of spare parts, syringes, and other equipment. Together with you, I want to see a Ghana with robust fiscal discipline in the management of our public finances to sustainably and significantly reduce our interest rates. Together with you, I want to see a Ghana with an empowered local business sector, especially startups and SMEs, to drive investment and growth. We will transform the SME life landscape by providing unique identifiers and using technology to help them access 
new financing and new markets. I also want to provide incentives to the private sector to replace government in the provision of a significant amount of infrastructure and many other services. My dear friends, together with you, I want to see a Ghana with a developed and efficient credit system through credit scoring or by credit reference agencies, by leveraging on the integrated databases across banks, the DVLA, NIA, digital address systems, and so on. This will enable workers to have credit to buy furniture, cars, TVs, fridges, and homes or mortgages at lower cost. Together with you, I want to see reduce costs through solar and other renewables with the application of market efficiency to the energy market. Together with you, I want to see an enhanced focus on private and public investment in tourism, in creative arts, and in sports. This is not an exhaustive list, and in due course, by the grace of God, we will have a chance to lay out a comprehensive manifesto for Ghanaians. My dear friends, over the last 22 years, I have worked hard for the new patriotic party and for Ghana. From, from during the President Kufour era as Deputy Governor of the Bank of Ghana, through our years in opposition and now in government, during this period, I have sacrificed for the party. I have defended the party in good times and, and challenges.